Ten English phrases for guessing and estimating from EspressoEnglish.net. Number one, off the top of my head, I think it's two hundred dollars. Off the top of my head means you are making an estimate in that moment without checking the information to make sure it's completely accurate. Number two, knowing him, he'll be late. Use this phrase to make an educated guess about something that will probably happen based on what you already know about the person, place, or thing. Number three. If I had to take a guess, I'd say she's thirty-five. Use the phrase "I'd say" to give your opinion or estimate. Number four. It's difficult to say, but I think. Use this phrase to emphasize that the guess is difficult to make accurately. Number five. I wouldn't be surprised if. Use this phrase to say that something is possible or probable. For example, my sister has been complaining a lot about her job lately. I wouldn't be surprised if she decided to quit soon. Number six, I bet. Use this phrase when you have more certainty about something happening. For example, I knew all the answers to the English test. I bet I got a good grade. Number seven, we're talking maybe forty people. The phrase "we're talking maybe." Is an informal way to give a general estimate. Number eight. It's about ten miles. It's around ten miles. The words "about" and "around" show that the number is an estimate, not a perfectly exact number. Number nine. It's somewhere in the ballpark of one point five million. This idiomatic expression indicates that the real number is in the same general area as the guess. This phrase is most often used with money. Number ten. Your guess is as good as mine. This phrase means I have no idea, so any guess is equally likely to be correct or incorrect. Thanks for watching English tips from Espresso English. If you liked this video, please share it.